This channel is proudly sponsored by Mal and Tal Enterprises. Please check out the links to their store and to their Patreon. They have a huge selection of Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition compatible products. Everything from mythological fantasy to gothic steampunk. There is even a video game inspired bestiary, so definitely check it out. And the Weird Frontiers role-playing game. A dungeon crawl classic style Weird West tabletop RPG. Please check out the links also in the description and in the comment. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring the ORE, Open Rules Expansion for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the Sorcerer and Warlock archetypes or subclasses. When it comes to the Sorcerer, you have the Deific Aspect. Blessed by a deity, a Deific Aspect Sorcerer uses divine magic instead of arcane magic. They act in the service of a deity, whether they know it or not, and will eventually take the form of an avatar of that deity in a critical moment, using violence to further the will of a god. You have features such as Divine Blast, starting at 6th level, when you cast a sorcerer spell that deals radiant or necrotic damage, the amount of damage is increased by 1d8. There is also Ascension, this is an 18th level feature. When you die, you can choose to immediately return to life as a deific avatar. In this form, your abilities and racial traits are replaced by the actions and traits of your new form. But you keep your background, feats and class features. If you die in this form, your death is permanent. But of course, this deific avatar form is an impressive form to take in battle. You have all of the stats here. Then we have the Oracle. As an oracle, sorcerers see glimpses of the future and focus their magic to interpret the visions. They often find work as strategists and advisors. You have features such as Bountiful Dreams. Starting at 14th level, whenever you cast a divination spell of 1st level or higher, you regain one sorcery point. Then there is Fate Broken, an 18th level sorcerer's feature. Your powers as an oracle have allowed you refuge from the gaze of the fates. Outside of their influence, you can act onto the world without karmic consequence. Starting when you reach 18th level, whenever you roll a 1 on a die, you can choose to re-roll. You must use the new roll even if it is a 1. Then we have the Serpent Spawn Sorcerer. Great serpents are said to have once ruled the world, as supremely as the gods. The magic blood of ancient god snakes lives on in their mortal spawn, many of whom learn to harness that venomous power as sorcerers. You have features such as Extreme Venom. Starting at 14th level, when you target a creature that is resistant or immune to poison damage with a spell that deals poison damage of course, your spell deals its normal damage as if the creature is not resistant or immune. There is also Child of the Holy Serpent. At 18th level, you unlock a divine gift which has been inside of you since you were born. When you deal poison damage to a creature using a spell, you can use your reaction to cause the damage to recur at the start of each of your turns for 4 rounds. Now when it comes to Warlock Patrons, you have the Earth Eater. The Earth Eater is the spirit of earthly destruction, a great hyper-intelligent worm. It is a symbol that all things end and the force of that ends coming. You have features such as Delver's Claws. At first level, tough claws sprout from your fingers. You have a burrowing speed equal to half your walking speed. There is also Living Drill. Starting at 10th level, when you use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack upon emerging from the ground, you can choose to make the attack against any number of creatures in a 20 foot long, 5 foot wide line directly in front of you. Then there is the mage. Some warlocks actually get their power from other, more powerful spellcasters. You have features such as Arcane Aid. Starting at 6th level, when you finish a long rest, your patron grants you a spell scroll containing a warlock spell of your choice, of a level up to your spell slot level shown on the warlock table. The scroll disappears when you finish another long rest. There is also Arcane Siphon. Starting at 14th level, when you reduce a creature that can cast spells to 0 hit points using a warlock spell, you regain one of your expended warlock spell slots. You can do this twice, 
regaining the ability to do so again when you finish a long rest. Then you have the Mountain Patron. The spirit of a mountain calls to some for aid, in exchange for immense power. You have features such as Unmovable. Starting at 6th level, you cannot be unwillingly moved by other creatures, even through the use of spells and magic items. Then there is Unstoppable. At 14th level, the mountain makes you an unstoppable force. The first time you take damage each round, starting at the end of each of your turns, the amount of damage you take is reduced to 1. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part of the review, we are going to talk about the wizard subclasses and the universal subclasses. When it comes to these sorcerer and warlock subclasses and patrons, I think they are very fun. And they also lend themselves to be perfectly tied with the setting you are playing in. For example, in the case of the Mage Warlock Patron, perhaps your patron is Elminster, or maybe more than Kynan. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or DriveThruRPG, the information will be in the description below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, when you are playing tabletop RPGs, you are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later.